So you've probably seen these ChatGPT memes on the internet and you're probably wondering how can I create images with ChatGPT. In this video I will show you exactly how you can do that. I will also show you a free and a paid option to create your own images. Then I will also show you how you can turn your drawings into art with ChatGPT. And I will give you some prompts that you can use to make your images even better. The first method that I will show you is the paid version. And for this, you go to ChatGPT, you sign in or you create a new account. And then this is what it looks like. Now with this version, you don't have the ChatGPT 4 right away. So for that, you need to click on this and now you need to upgrade to plus. This will cost you around $20 per month. And once you've upgraded it to the plus version, then you can start creating your images. Now, later on this video, I will show you a free method. So stick around for that. So I've just upgraded to ChatGPT4 and all I have to do is select it. And now to test it out, let me create an image with it. So all I did is ask it to create an image. And now it starts creating this image. This takes around 10 to 20 seconds. And let's see what the result is. So this is an elephant walking on Mars in a spacesuit. Looks pretty cool to me and it's also pretty realistic. Um, but keep in mind though, if you're playing around with this, you only have like 40 messages in three hours. And I've actually ran into the problem where I was just playing around with it. And then I ran out of messages and then I had to wait a while to get back into ChatGPT4. So keep that in mind when creating these images. Now, besides that, there are multiple cool ways to try out ChatGPT4. And you can do that by exploring GPTs. So within public GPTs, you can select different ones. For example, this DAL-E, that's the one where you can transform amazing IDs into images. And you have a bunch of different image generations. So these are created by other people as well. So for example, if I check this one, then I can use his bot and he will do like a image, like let's do this for example. And this is like his bot that you can use for this. So this is only recently come out and it's pretty amazing that you can try out these different bots. So I would definitely play around with them. So here's another example of a prompt that we can use and it generates these hyper realistic images. Now you can also make adjustment to them. For example, if you want to ask like, um, add a blue car like drone in the middle of this city. Now it will generate it again and keep in mind, it doesn't sometimes exactly recreate the same image. Sometimes it adjusts it and I will show you what it looks like in a little bit. So look, for example, on this one, I asked it to create a blue car in the middle of the city and now it has adjusted a little bit and made it a different image. Make sure to try out all of these different kind of like mods or GPTs. For example, we have this one. This is just DAL-E by ChatGPT. This is just turning like an ID into an image. Then we have like something like hot modifications and this will turn your image into something wild. And if you like the GPT that you have chosen, then you can always save them. And for example, if I click here, I can keep it in the sidebar and now it's easily accessible to me. So now let me show you how you can create these memes like I've shown you in the intro. And let me pull up the chat for that. So my idea was having an alien and a man playing Monopoly on Mars. And that's exactly what I asked, like generate an image of a man and an alien playing on Mars. Then the, the man wins and the alien is sad and cute. So here we have an image of the man looking happy. The alien is kind of sad. Then the alien gets angry. Now here he is looking even angrier. Then make him even angrier. Now he is standing on the Monopoly screen. Now I say the man gets scared now. You can see his facial emotion on the screen right there. And then I ask like the alien becomes a monster and et cetera, et cetera. So that's exactly how you do it. You can say like, make it angrier, um, do this, do that. And it will modify the image like that. Keep in mind, ChatGPT has kind of like a strict policy on things like destroy the world or make this blow up. Sometimes it tells you like, we cannot do that. Or it tells you like, that's not allowed, something like that. So keep that in mind while generating your images. Even if you're saying like, make it even angrier, make it so angry that it wants to do this. Then for example, I had that, let me find it. For example, here I had a bald man and I want him to be even angrier. So I started off like this. Now he got angrier, even angrier. And then I said, too happy, <laughs> must be even angrier like he's going to destroy the world. And then that's what I got. 
and now I said, given the web and the world, and they say like, I, I can't uh, create images that depict violence or promote harm. So yeah, then he said that again. So then I had to start kind of like all over again. So keep that in mind if you want to create these memes, sometimes some things are not allowed. But what those memes generally do is they change the text that they have used in here. Like for example, they just Photoshop the text and they give like a really detailed prompt to make it look exactly how they want it to look. So yeah, keep that in mind while creating those memes. Another cool feature that I wanted to show you is that you can turn your drawings into images or even like into art with ChatGPT. So as you might know, I'm a bit of an artist myself. I got my drawing pad right here and let me just draw an image right now and show you what it looks like if I make an image of this and then we turn it into ChatGPT. So take a look at my image. This is a giraffe, if you couldn't tell. And now let me take a picture of it. I will airdrop this to my MacBook. And now we can turn this into art with ChatGPT. So now let me airdrop this image into my PC. And now I have it open right here. I can enter it in. Then I ask it to turn my beautiful drawing into art. And now you can see my beautiful drawing of a giraffe will be turned into art. So here we have it. It has actually identified that this is a giraffe. And now this is the drawings that it has made. It looks kind of like artistic. So I really like that. Now this is basically how you can generate images with ChatGPT. Like literally the possibilities are endless. But let me actually show you another way that generates images with ChatGPT engine. But it's actually free. So what we do for that is we go to Bing and then we click on the image creator. And here we have like 15 credits and we get like 15 credits daily, I think. So I got 15 credits for today. Now I can ask it to generate an image. Um, it works a lot slower than ChatGPT does. It's also free, that's probably why. So let's say I ask it to make a drawing of a giraffe. Now it starts creating this and this is honestly pretty slow. So I will be right back when it's done creating this. That was actually a bit faster than I expected. It took around like 15 to 20 seconds, similar time to ChatGPT. Um, but it really depends on what kind of prompt you're using, how fast your internet is and all of that. So this is the image it has generated. It looks pretty cool. Here's another image that I made yesterday of a cute little alien. I want to compare it to the alien that I made on ChatGPT. So with them, you can be as specific as possible to really get your own style. So that's basically how you can create images with ChatGPT. If you'd like this video, make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one.